Right, good morning. How are you? <laughs> right, we're doing the um, next bit of the uh, giveaway stuff um, from my little box of scraps from the lovely Annie Claxton. So um, this is the pouch. We post, we pieced the fabrics for this one. So I've just started stitching. So I want to try this. It's a weird looking thread. Let me see if I can show you. It's kind of black and white. It's very odd, but it's stitching it really nicely. So I'm going to carry on with that. Bear with me. Um, but yeah, it gives you like a mottled effect, mild. Anyway, this I'm totally nicking from another person on um, Discord, uh, the lovely Karen. She does lots like this. If you saw my bag that literally brought me to tears because it was so beautiful, um, this is how she done hers. Mine's not going to be as good. <laughs> but never mind so i've done one because i just wanted to try that thread i'm going to be putting in a black zip um and i think i'm going to do some black highlights on here not quite sure yet this is the second side here so i haven't done anything on that yet and because we're going seaside themed i'm going to line it with that <laughs> how cute is that so uh, yeah so that'll be the lining uh yeah black zip so yeah i'm probably going to do some black I was going to say doodles, but not exactly doodles. Sorry, the windows are open because it is stonkingly hot here today. And we've got an Eleanor here as well. So Good morning, everybody. <laughs> She's on my desk colouring, so we'll leave her to that in peace. Um, I'll probably put you on a lot of fast forward because this is going to be probably really boring. She's got my comfy chair. I'm on a blooming stool. Mm. Mm. You don't care, do you? Um, right, so I'm going to carry on. I'll probably speed a lot of it up like I did in the last one. And um, I'll show you the uh, finished article. I've got, just got to remember where everything goes. <laughs> so leave that there so I remember it goes there. No, actually, I could. I could leave them all in place and just stitch around them as I go. That makes sense. Right, OK, I'll see you on the other side. That's that all stitched. Okay. So it's going to go that way up because I like this one here. Right. Um. Actually, is it that way or that way? I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it's quite a sort of, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um do something on it but I don't know what um, well, it's definitely gonna have a front and a back so I 
thinking of doing some little box corners I must admit some because I do like a boxed corner pouch it looks much smarter is it me or is it getting hotter in here I don't know it's getting way hotter <laughs> we're predicted 35 degrees today I think so that's if you're in a colder country I want to move there <laughs> Canada. Should we go to Canada? It gets hot there, doesn't it? So in the summer. Um, what do you think I should do on here, Batty? That's her nickname, by the way. I'm not being mean. You like being called Batty anyway, don't you? Honestly, I don't even. Care. You don't care, do you? I get all sorts of nicknames. Yeah, it's because we love you. Smelly Ellie. Smelly Ellie. Batty Ellie. No, Batty. I think your granddad calls you Smelly Ellie, doesn't he? Yeah. Mean. Um. Is that meant to be? It's a bird. Yeah. Yeah. He's flying. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. What else do you think I should do? Or do you think that's enough? It's enough. Kev, don't drop the camera because you'll make everybody seasick. Um, <laughs> should I put some lacy bits on there or. Lacy bits? Sound good? I've got some puffy things. Let me grab those. Let's see if we can get a. Oh, big stretch. Got some little Suffolk puffs. Oh yeah. Or yo-yos, yeah, whatever the, you want to call them. Put, the, put them on. Put them on, like, like that. Or like that. What, on the squares, you think? Yeah, like fill the squares in that. Do you think that's a good idea, guys? <laughs> it can't go up there because the zip's got to go up there. Oh, good damn it. Yeah. Well, we could put that one on, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Like that. You guys think so? They, they can't answer you, dear? Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> we'll put a couple of those on. Yep. What do you reckon? That one there? Yeah, put this one on there. Put Can't there. go too high, it'll come down because of the zip. It'll just get lost otherwise and it'll get swallowed mm -hmm. up by the zip. Swallowed. I like this one actually. I like these colours. Mm. Yeah, that one. I don't think we want pink. Pink mm. is definitely not on the colours. Yeah. Yeah. So Oh, I don't know where to put it. I think I quite like it on that square. I should put that one. Can't do too close because it's going to come off the edge there. Yeah. Or down here maybe. Just fiddle around with it, see what you think. See if you can find a better position. I think that. Yeah, it can't go. See, I've got to do side seams. So the, what you've got to remember is I'm going to lose about a centimetre all the way round on this. So it can't go too close to any edges. It's a bit boring in the middle though, isn't it? Let's see what's in this one. I think there's some bigger ones in here. I can never get in this thing. Where's my little... Tin opener. Screw opener. Oh, yeah, tin opener if you want. A little screwdriver is what I was trying to find the words for. Ooh. Yeah, that one, guys. Mm, not pink. Pink can't go on there. Deal. Oh, what's that one? That's a that's a good one. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah. Because we're doing black zip. Maybe we'll get rid of the that one. Oh, there. Oh, I have got two. Oh, I've got three of those. Oh, nice. Oh, big size, double size. Is that it? You abandoned me. No, I'm just put the make decisions all on my own. Oh, putting the pens away. This is a mean. Right, well that's all that colour. If I was chilly right now, I would be giving you the chilly look. Chilly? Is that a thing? Is it it's, being it's chilly? Out, it's out of um, Bluey, so... Oh, okay. Right. You don't know. Well, the world according to Bluey, eh? <laughs> Bluey's mm, a... Um, yeah, we know. ...episode of Hotline. Most of the people that watch me are grandparents. They're going to know what Bluey is. So he's the Australian dog, isn't he? He's absolutely hilarious as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he's in Disney. He's on Disney. Yeah, he's funny. Well, she. She. Is it a she? Yeah. Bingo's oh, a girl. Right. Bingo's a girl. Really? Yeah. I always thought he was a boy. No, he's a girl. Oh, there. What do you reckon about that? In oh, those positions. That's good. You like that? Beautiful. Isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. That's per Devon, that is. Per Devon. <laughs> You're Devon. We are. We are we're normal people, by the way. Well, not. Yeah, I don't know. We're not normal people. No, I don't think I, I don't want to be normal. No. I like to be abnormal, and then people stay away from you, don't they? I'm crazy. 
Mm. Yeah, be crazy. Live life in a crazy world. Yep. Right, so let's just see if we can show everyone. What do you reckon? Do we like the puffs? Do you like those? I love them. You do? Beautiful. Right, they're going on then. Yep. If you say you love them, they're going on. Because it was your idea to do the black. Well, I did black and white, but you said black thread, didn't you, to stitch it all down within the first place? Yeah. So, I'm being led by you. No, 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 thank you. Right, okie dokie. The boss has spoken. Is that me? No, me. Oh, damn. I'm the boss, guys. You're the boss, are you? <sighs> we didn't know. <laughs> Right then, All right, okay, I'm probably going to fast forward you again. I think I'm just going to zigzag. I could hand stitch. I ain't got time. I've got, I've got so much market prep to be doing. So I'm just going to zigzag very slowly. By the way, guys, she's a magician at this. Magician? Okay. And she's already done off my fruit. Take my time. Stitch them on. I'm actually seeing anything. Let me see if I can move you around here. You're waffling away to yourself. You're as mad as your grandmother. You only live once. Over here, you can't because no, these are all fabric side, the other side's over there. But mind the bin, the bin will <laughs> in my way, guys. The bin tried tripping me over. Uh -huh. What the bin tried tripping me over? It, it, do you know what happened? What you didn't look? Yes, I, did. well, I looked in and then it just tripped me over. <laughs> it decided it I jumped wanted... up, yeah, savagely attacked your leg. Yeah, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, actually, it looks like a barnacle. You know, one of those sea creatures that sort yeah. of limps onto it. Limp it. Well, no, barnacle. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's You're one of those sea things. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to do the rest and I'll come back to you. I've got my desk back. She's gone downstairs to watch a video. <laughs> right, okay. So here we are so far. Let me show you. So we've got these. I found a plastic lobster, so he's going on. I want to make some little box corners. They're going to be tiny, probably quarter inch. But it'll just give it a nice bit of structure and that'll be fine so um i've pulled out one of my are you an anchor i think you are anchor one three four five so i'm gonna do just a little bit of embroidery i think and this is the other side so yeah let's, let's get to it it is so humid here today i was out with um my youngest Caroline with Hades this morning at I don't know quarter to eight yeah, it was absolutely boiling that poor dog he's already got hot spots bless him he's uh he's cooking <laughs> it must be really tough being a husky mix in this weather so. um yeah sorry you can probably hear stuff going on in the background of She's watching Minecraft or something, so just gonna leave her to it for a little while. Her mum's not gonna be long. This is what I said to her because she's like, Oh, can I come and stay with you, Nanny? I said, Look, the trouble is, darling. I mean it's like if I if she says she wants to do job printing, I'll get her all set up. And then you know, she'll do it for about 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour max, and that's it. I'm like, well, no. <laughs> You can have a gel printing session. I bought her a gel plate for her birthday in um, October, actually. So, and a load of paints and that. So she'll have her own gel plate. So she can wreck her mum's house instead of mine. <laughs> there, little lobster. Q. 
cute. I might do sort of some, make it a bit seaweedy. It needs tidying up. It's got bits all over it, so I'll do that. Right, I'll probably put you on a little bit of fast forward because this bit, you know, could be a bit boring for you guys. I'll stop there because um, if I do a box bottom, which I will do, it will come down to there. And the other thing I want to do is some big circles, I think. Really tempted to do it in black as well. Don't know what it is with me in black at the moment. <laughs> I could do it with gold because there's some gold in here and there's gold in there as well. Maybe that'll look better than black actually. I might change the zip colour, but I like these, so I'm going to leave those. Decisions, decisions. It needs more. Might do something in there actually. Let's do something in there first. <laughs> Neighbours doing a load of DIY as well, just in case you can hear that. <laughs> That's the trouble with this. It's just so hot. Got to have the windows open. And the other thing is, that's going to have to go onto the zip. That's a pain. Mm, okay, maybe I won't do anything up there. Well, I could do, let's just do a couple of pistol stitches or something. I think. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. I'm not quite.
So I keep adding embroidery and stuff. I do think, I think there's going to be some big circles on here as well, but I can't decide on a colour at the minute. So I will come back uh, before I start stitching the zip and lining it and everything. So I'll see you soon. Right, this is where I got to. Eleanor's just gone home, so peace and quiet. Um, so yeah, I did the circles that I wanted to do. So three on that one and did some fly stitch there and fly stitch more circles so I think that's enough they're not very big pouches or a very big pouch I should say so I've just cut all the um, uh, what were they half inch little box corners so I'm now going to sit and sew that um, I'm going to do what I call a wide open pouch which basically means that the zip comes over the edge so you can get right in it basically so um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll put you on the little monkey stand as it's called, and we'll video the next bit. See you in a minute. Right, sorry, I just decided to get on with it. <laughs> it's done. So um, yeah, it's a nice little pouch actually. A few threads there. Um, yeah, so I put tabs on the end. So this is why they're nice because they open right out. You're not restricted by the zips inside. So yeah. It's cool. Don't know what sort of size pen fits in there. Mm, all sorts. Um, have I got any really long ones? Uh, really long. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Right, there we are. It's all done. It'll be up for grabs on the 1st of September. Uh, no, the first, sun first Saturday in September on Annie's um live thingy that she does with tom so yeah there we are <laughs> it was i was just having a nightmare with it so i just thought you know what i'm just gonna get on with it so there we are all right see you again soon bye